I'm uh, Janet Meyer. Uh, Sunil, so you don't know me. I'm um, the founder of the Positive Impact Movement. And uh, I'm also in Barcelona, based here, but a uh, global citizen. And as you all, I will, uh, I'm still evolving. And, um, well, and um, I created the Positive Impact Movement to bring people together, no? socially conscious change makers. So um, Martin, Martin Rutte is um, an international speaker and consultant. He's the president of Livelihood, and uh, this is a management consulting firm in, um, in the U.S., in Santa Fe, Mexico, no? New Mexico. And, yes, he's also the co-author of the New York Times business bestseller, Chicken Soup for the Soul at Work, and which has been translated in over 20 languages and uh, well, has uh, over 1.1 million uh, copies that have been sold. Very good, really. And he, for more than 25 years, he has been exploring people's vision for the kind of world they deeply long for. So, Project Heaven on Earth. And he has now a new book, and which uh, tackles this subject. It's called Project Heaven on Earth, the three simple questions that will help you change the world easily. And uh, he has just been uh, published no? some, um, some time ago. And not, not far. So um, uh, Martin sees heaven on earth as uh, the new story of what it means to be human and what it means to be humanity. And uh, for, for us, and I, I've discovered him because he's a socially conscious change maker and uh, who understands that we humans need to move from a divided vision of the world into a united vision. So into the one. Martin evokes the power of being. From, this is the freedom to be who we are and create what we love. And, and gives us the responsibility to do that. So um, I really thank you, Martin, for being here and to join this uh, event thank with us. You Thank yes. you, thank you. And we also have Usario. Yeah, Usuario is a user in Spanish. But uh, oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let me You can tell my Spanish is not that good. <laughs> <laughs> <Pablo> Espanol. <laughs> so the, who, right. who do we so, have on the line? No. Nobody. Okay. Uh, so thank you, Jeanette, and thank you all for coming. And uh, I fell in love with Jeanette. We just connected over. Uh, this is really the longest conversation we've had. We had like a 10 minute conversation before I started this and now just now. Um, and we've never met in person. So she talked about Jeanette, about my, my background. Um, I've spoken at the Harvard Business School and she talked about the chicken soup for the soul at work. And I've had major corporate clients, uh, Sony Pictures, Southern California Edison. Um, so a, a pretty traditional consulting background. And then about 20 years ago, roughly 30 years ago, I had this idea that the world was not moving in a direction that I thought was really good. Uh, there was just problems that seemed intractable that just kept going on and on. And so I, I thought we needed a new story. And we had heard 10, 15 years ago, a lot of people speaking about, we need a new story, we need a new story. The current story is not working, the current story is not working. But nobody named that new story. And so if you don't name a new story, let's say Jeanette and I have a, a very bad relationship. You know, our relationship's not working. It's not working, it's not working, it's not working. But we just leave it at that. That doesn't empower us. We've got to name the new story. So our relationship is now working. Well, that's a whole different perspective. And so this thought popped into my mind one day in terms of the world working. Oh, you mean heaven on earth. And I can remember the first thought that popped into my mind was, oh my God, it was a little stronger language than that. Oh my God, you can't say that. You can't say heaven on earth. And then I thought, well, well why? 
why can't you say heaven on earth? I can talk to you about hell on earth, can I? That's an acceptable conversation. Why can't I talk about heaven on earth? So that began this inquiry over these 20, 30 years in terms of what is heaven on earth and how do we, and this is an important word, evoke it from people. I don't believe it works for me to come up and say, this is heaven on earth, I know what it is, you don't, and I'm going to shove this down your throat. That doesn't work. Rather, my assumption is that you know what heaven on earth is, and that part of the job of, of me, and I'll talk a little bit more about, this is my book, Project Heaven on Earth, I'll talk more about that in terms of what I discovered. But in terms of how I went through this inquir inquiry, I started just talking to people. I'm not a huge reader, but I'm a very much of an interactor. So what's heaven on earth for you? What's heaven on earth for you? What's heaven on earth? I just kept asking and asking and asking. And, and what happened was it distilled down to three questions. And those three questions form the basis of the book. And I'll go into more of that. But what I would like to do with you, if you're all willing, is I want to ask you the three questions have you answer them and watch what happens out of asking. Um, so I'm going to ask you the questions. I won't explain the order or why we're doing it. Then we'll come back and we'll talk about the order and why I do it in the way I did it. All right. So if you're willing, recall a time when you experienced heaven on earth. What was happening? What was going on? Recall a time when you experienced heaven on earth. What was going on? I'd like each of you to answer that question, if you choose. Can I go first? Please, Samuel. So it just kind of came to me. Like um, I remember a time when I was living in London, and I created a project with a friend of mine. It was called Free Flow. And it was an arts project to help people really reflect and see themselves. And I don't know, we had this sort of vision uh, to create this thing. And yeah, there was a, there was a period, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm mixing up a couple of things maybe, but... So there was a period when I kind of call it like kind of a magical week when everything was in this flow. And in this project, for example, um, everything seemed to just flow effortlessly. And we got like the funding for this project. We found the people to kind of um, participate in it and to, to do bits of the workshop. And we just made the steps and things kind of worked out. And, um, so it was, it was a period which kind of really stuck in my in my being of like, of like, oh, I could live life like this. Uh, where it's just kind of like not so much interference from me, but then things were just coming, happening, coming through. Obviously I was doing things. Um, things were coming through me. Yeah. Rather than me doing things. Very clear. Um, yeah. Yeah, very clear. Thank you. Patricia. Um, for me, um, my little piece of heaven here on earth is having been able to find the oneness of myself, um, the being comfortable in my own skin, loving who I am, but not with the ego mind, completely heartfelt, unconditional. Um, yeah. 
That's very clear. Comfortable with the self. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Jeanette. Well, for me, the first thing that came to my mind is when we won a prize and I was uh, talking to the audience and my team was there. So that was that feeling of having been able, um, having um, together been able to share this moment and um, having made it, <laughs> this was heaven on earth. Yeah. All right, so that's question one. I'll, I'll come back and repeat them and tell you where you can get them as well. Question two, imagine you have a magic wand. Okay, let's just pretend if you have a pen or pencil, I want to pick that up. You have a magic wand, and with it, you can have heaven on earth. What is heaven on earth for you? Should I go? Sure. Well, for me, really, it's... Um what I'm creating now, it's a movement. I want, to, uh, to, I, I want to, that each of us is connected, that each of us knows the power we have to create heaven on earth. That we, we have the freedom to be who we are and that uh, we create what we love. Very and clear. Make it happen. Yeah. yeah. Sarah, are you welcome? I'm sorry, I had some problems. With audio, but <laughs> I'm here. All right. Sorry. Did you hear the questions? <laughs> yeah, I, I heard both. And so for the first one, I, I think, um, okay, for me, it's connection with the others and with the uh, with environment around me. And the second one is, uh, is always connection. I, for me, it's very important connection with the, the environment, uh, people or uh, whatever, uh, as around me <laughs> a good connection good feelings good emotions so for me that's uh, evan <laughs> very clear very clear thank you and sunil what's heaven on earth for you oh, no, no i would no. say Go ahead. i would say um seeing where we are all the same and 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 living in that and and expressing our seeing where we are all the same and also expressing our uniqueness. Clear. Thank you. And Patricia. Yeah, I really just reiterating both what Jeanette and Sina has said in so much as um, everybody being free to be themselves. Of course, as long as they're not doing any harm. <laughs> um, but then, who are we to judge what harm is? But you know what I'm, I, I, you understand what I mean by that? I mean, we, we, not taking other people's lives, that kind of thing. I mean, there, there, there's a certain amount of humanity that, that we have to um, accept. <laughs> um, yeah. This is where I can talk myself out of things. <laughs> because in some ways, it, 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 it's um, ev everything is here to teach us lessons. Um, we have to know the dark to be able to, to, to know the light. Um, so the, the, the more I go down this journey, the more difficult it becomes. <laughs> The more what it becomes? Difficult. Okay. Um, so we're still talking about what heaven on earth is for you. So what heaven on earth for me is to live in an environment where nobody needs anything. Good. Clear. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right. Now the third question. What simple, easy, concrete step will you take in the next 24 hours to either move that forward or have that begin make, made real? It has to be a simple little action that you will take in the next 24 hours to move that forward. Jeanette? In my case, I would share yeah. this with you. I would share this with you. Okay, good. Very good. Thank you. 
Uh, Patricia. Continue to do what I'm doing because I, I, I feel um, the work that I do through the. Oops, Patricia. Sorry. Yep, go ahead. Uh, the lost. work I do. I'm a Muslim. Yeah. The yep. work I do through the, the, the guided meditation, I'm um, en enabling people to um, see a different future for them, removing themselves from the what they believe are restrictions in their life that are restrictions that we put there ourselves. Very clear. Thank you. Sunil. Thank you. I'm struggling with this one. Um, simple, concrete step. Yeah. First thing that came to my mind would, was like, I'll listen to people. Clear. That's good. I don't have an answer. If that works for you, that's the answer. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, good. Sarah? Uh, okay. Uh, I think I'm... I don't have a real step or concrete step. I think uh, I'll be doing what I'm actually doing, uh, smile and smiling and being with friends and new people. I'm trying to share things with uh, people. Um, so that's something I I do. Uh, I don't really 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 have actually a concrete step to take. I would like, but uh, not for the moment. <laughs> Let, let's, I'm going to come back to you in a second because you actually okay. did answer the question. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's go, folks, through the three questions. First question, recall a time when you experienced heaven on earth, what was going on? Now, I want to talk about what each of you did. Each of you answered the question. What each of you did not do is say to me, Martin, what do you mean by heaven on earth? Nobody asks me that question. Mm. Well, how do you know what I'm talking about? But you do, or you couldn't have answered the question. It's what I call <laughs> the already knowing within. You yeah. can't answer that question unless you know what, you're, what I'm talking about. But how? I, did, I gave no definition of it at all, but yet you answered the question. I think... So when I discovered that first uh, idea that people do know because they have had w at least one experience and sometimes more, that astounded me. We know what we're talking about. The second question, here's a magic wand and with it you can have heaven on earth. What's heaven on earth for you? The reason for the magic wand is to remove the necessity of having to know how you're going to do it. Remember if you go to, a, to a, a magician and he just waves the magic wand, what your job is to do is just to discover what heaven on earth is for you. And by doing that, the magic wand's business is to discover how. So the magic wand removes the necessity of having to know how. And once you don't have to know how, you can go purely and deeply, much deeply, much more deeply into the what. And so we heard the answers. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm here to, Jeanette, I'm here to create a movement. Sarah, uh, to, uh, to connect with people and the environment. Sunil, uh, where we're all the same and unique. Patricia, everybody here to be yourself. No one needs anything. Sarah, can you just put your uh, microphone on mute? Then it won't pick it up. Good, thank you. So that was the second question. And then the third question, I don't want to just leave it at the large notion of this is heaven on earth for me. I want you to begin engaging with and making real, experiencing and making real what heaven on earth is for you. Not someday off in the future, because then it just becomes a good idea that you'll do sometime in the future. But now, 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 now. The way you create a new story, which is what we're doing here, is by starting the new story, by declaring. The new story of what it means to be a human and what it means to be humanity is heaven on earth, is experiencing and creating and co-creating heaven on earth. Why? Because I say so. Because you say so. The way you start the new story is through declaration. 
okay, I give an example. When my wife and I got married, I'd never been married before. She'd never been married before. Well, but how do we make this work? By declaration, in this case, by a public commitment called a marriage ceremony. But the essence of it is we're making this declaration together in front of people. So the third question, what simple things will you do? And there's two things that came up in the answers. One is, let's take Jeanette's. I will share this video. That's something new that she hasn't done before, the doing of which propels heaven on earth forward. And then we looked at Sarah, and Sarah said, well, I'll just do what I've been doing. And in, and in essence, so did Patricia. But you see, the fact of you doing what you do it and adding, and this is my contribution to heaven on earth, it's the same thing. So it doesn't matter to me whether it's something new that you're doing or something you've already been doing, but with a new consciousness, with a new intention, with a new declaration called, this is my commitment. This is my contribution to heaven on earth. Could be smiling at two people a day. Fine. That's your contribution. I remember my wife and I once had this argument. You know, she said to me, excuse me, she said to me, well, you're out there, you're doing heaven on earth, such a big deal. And at the time, she was working on this project called Many Mothers. So if a woman had a new child, this organization called Many Mothers would send in a volunteer to work with the mother. Whatever the mother wanted, takes the other kids off to play so the mother can be alone with the new baby. Wash the floor, do the lawn. Whatever the mother wanted, that's what Maida would do. And so she said, you know, you're doing this big thing, and I'm only going to one, you know, a, newly, a, a, a new mother and just working with her. And then we both just, there's no difference. Because she can't do and nor does she want to do what I'm doing. I don't want to do what she's doing. But they're both, because we're coming from the same intention, the same declaration, they are both our contributions to have it on earth. They're equal. The content, different. The context, contribution to have it on earth, the same. So. Let me just stop there, and I'll just take some comments now before I move on. But the, the essence of the book, if you, you look at the, uh, can we see that title? Oops. The three simple questions that will help you change the world easily. So the basis of the work is those three questions. And then I'm going to go more into what the rest of the book is about. But let me just stop there and see if there's any questions or comments. Anybody? Jeanette? From my side? Um... I don't have questions. Comments, you know, I love it. <laughs> because it's so aligned to, to what we are creating, no? It's the co-creation through, through your being, no? And co-creating a new world. So um, I really, as you know, I love that. I love what you do and, uh, you. and the way you put it in simple and, and, and connecting people to their essence through those questions. Yeah. What, what, what surprised me, Jeanette, was when those three questions just distilled out and I got the three questions, you know, some people, but it's too simple. It's too, and I went, but who says it has to be difficult? You know, we have this belief that heaven on earth, oh my God, that's so difficult and we don't know how. How do you know that? We've never done it before. What if it were simple? What if it were hard? What difference does it make? We're doing it. Yes. And then it's like we were saying before, no? Many times we ourselves complicate, complicate life so much and it can be simple. It's us complicating it because yeah. it can be simpler. So this is nice to have these simple questions that make you look inside. Thank and you. And act. Um, <laughs> and act. Yeah, yeah. And act. Uh, Sunil. Yeah. I had a, I don't know if it's a question or a comment. Um, I really like the questions because they are kind of they get you there no what what do you want to bring um my comment was okay so the first answer to the first question was um like heaven and earth was like a, a time when things flowed and things came through me okay um but i'm not necessarily experiencing that so much right now so, um, and I, yeah, 
I I kind of want to know. I guess it's the how do I do that? You know, the, maybe it's oh. we've got the what, but I don't experience that, and I don't well, know look what's stopping it. Uh, so I think you said that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what is listening mm -hmm. got to do with creating heaven on earth for you? questions and listening came out so i guess listening would be connected to it in that if i deeply listened to people then i would begin to see how they are same as the same as me and 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 different and I, also i would know how to respond to them from that deep place of listening so let's let's do two things first of all let's take the word if away <laughs> that's conditional right yeah if i listen to people mm -hmm. let's replace it with when i listen or by listening and can you do that with me right now listen me and you and us into heaven on earth right now mm -hmm. are you doing it Is this it? Yeah, I'm beginning to get something. I feel it. What are you getting? There's a sense of peace and where it's just our being mm. yeah. and a connection. But another way, your listening with the intention of creating heaven on earth is creating heaven on earth for you and me, and I would suggest for all of us. So that intention came true fairly quickly. That's your power, Sunil, very clearly. It's one aspect of your power, sorry. It's almost like you said you were on this retreat in off Scotland, was it? In silence? You just brought that here, it's my experience. Is that accurate? It's like my head is going, does not compute, does not compute. <laughs> what about your being? Well, there's something kind of unfolding there. Yeah. Um, and I don't even know, you know, I don't know. And that, that's the space. Yeah. I, I, I like to put it in something called, <clears throat> I call third person removed. Rather than I don't know, try I doesn't know. Sounds great. <laughs> I like the English. Because it's I still there. Yeah, I doesn't yeah, know. Yeah, it's, I get that now. You get that? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Good. The part of me, yeah, mm -hmm. I doesn't you you use you're using first person pronoun with third person verb which causes it still to be there but you're outside of it i can sense like a feeling of love like kind of emanating my mind is kind of stilled a little bit yeah 
and uh, I can fill my heart. You have a great gift, Sunil, a great gift. In my language, you, you listened heaven on earth in, into existence. It's pretty powerful. Can I move on? Sure. All right, thank you. Oops, a little mosquito here. Sarah, comments? Thanks, Sunil. Uh, I'm a little bit lost. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm a little bit stuck. Mm, uh, I mean, I've been I've been struggling uh, during for years, mm, trying to find something that mm, can help to have the heaven on earth. But um, I moved back to my background, uh, so. Uh, for me, uh, I think it's not only, uh, only a personal thing, but it's something that you can do uh, with your professional life and so on. So I mix uh, personal and professional uh, life. And for me, heaven on earth is when you have, uh, when you compromise, when you contribute to the, uh, to the world, uh, doing something. Unfortunately, I'm a, I have a back. Well, that's complicated. <laughs> a bit. So uh, I've been fighting during these years and um, and try to be positive and try to find something that I I will uh, do and on for for the goodness of uh, of of people or uh, but. Mm, I'm a little bit stuck. So. <laughs> Shall we get unstuck? Uh, yeah, I got it. Uh, yeah, yeah. And so let's look. Here's what you said. Mm. Um, you, when, when I asked you the third question, what simple thing will you do, you said um, yeah. smiling, being yeah, with because, other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's smiling and being around the people for me is natural. It's something that I've, I've always... Mm, done so uh, so hold on hold on so i want to suggest that what you're looking for is right in front of you mm -hmm. you're already doing it and you think that's not it no that's not enough <laughs> because right. it's just sometimes in my daily uh, uh, so time me, I, so it's not Sarah, enough gonna, for me i want i want to interrupt, <laughs> I want to interrupt you there's this disease going on. I was listening to the radio here in Canada this week called the not enough disease. No, no. You know, <laughs> I'm not doing enough. I'm not getting enough done. Social ah, okay. media. Oh my <laughs> God, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I heard it in an entirely new way as a disease because I've suffered from the same disease. My wife said, oh my God, look at what you've done today. No, it's not enough. And, not, and so we're on to that. My little act called it's not enough, which is complete BS, you know? Mm. No, no, I mean, I could, I could build a bridge from here to Mars in one day, mm. and it wouldn't be enough. <laughs> and when you see that, see, I think your contribution, you've said it, smiling at people, being with friends and people. You're a beer. Mm. Who you are is heaven on earth. And you think that's not enough. I remember I came back from a consulting job once and my wife said well what did you do I said i was with him for an hour i said maybe six words and you know it was amazing and and she said <laughs> it's because they pay you for being not doing mm. we've had that theme come up several times today mm. in this group it's the being so i want to suggest that you Stop the story of you're not doing enough. Just notice that that's a story. Oh, I think I'm not doing enough. Fine. And go be with people. Start right. there. Right. But for six, seven, eight hours per day, I'm doing financial things, stock market, things that very <laughs> uh, 
not very helpful. Uh, so something, I don't know, it's not enough. I, I couldn't find something that, uh, where I could spend my time and, uh, and do something. All okay. right, so let's look, let's look at that. <laughs> what step will you take? What simple step will you take? Ooh, to, I've to been be... taking no, many no. steps. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> but you're arguing with me about how you can't do it and how it hasn't been done. I don't want to go there yeah. with you because I'll lose. Mm. You'll win, but you'll really lose. I know you haven't yeah. done it. I know you think you can't do it. Fine. Now let's okay. do it. What are you going to do yeah. in the next 24 hours to move that forward? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you, I don't can't know. Get, you can't say, I don't know. Because oh, when you I say, can't. I don't know, you stop. So yeah. you're allowed to think, I, I don't know, but you, can't, you cannot say, I don't know. Sorry. Uh, okay. I would try to... Um, no, no, no try. I, what, what? I will. I will. Yeah. I, will. Uh, I will take things easy. Not asking too much, asking me too much and being <laughs> and uh, uh, trying to see opportunities around. All right. So okay. will you, hold on. <laughs> will you do that and only that plus your other job, I understand, but just <laughs> that for the next 24 hours? Yeah, I think so. No, not, not I think so. <laughs> Either yes, you will or no, you won't. <laughs> Okay. All right. So yes, you will or no, you won't. And it's fine to say no. <laughs> no, I will. I will. You will. Okay. That's, I, that's all I want to talk. I don't want to talk about how it can't be done, how you've tried, how difficult it is. Yeah, Not interested. Okay. okay. I want you in the job that lights your soul up. And so we have to begin right now. Okay. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Patricia, See anything you. you'd like? Or did you? Sure, Patricia, I don't remember. Uh, no, I hadn't, but it's kind of all been said. Um, I was given two words, and it was simply be. There you go. And it is such an empowering place <laughs> when you allow it. So is that, so your simply being, would you be willing to have that be your contribution to heaven on earth? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> All I have to say. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let us, Jeanette, I'm assuming we, we've talked, right, in terms of <clears throat> you're going to share this recording. That's your contribution. Yes, but <coughs> I, I right. add myself to what Patricia is saying, simply being, okay. because simply being, it's, it's all the rest comes with it. Let me go into the next portion of my talk with you all which is I want to talk about the, um, the gateways. Let me explain. The beginning of the book is the three questions, which I just asked you. <clears throat> so I ask people to go into it. I talk about story, what a story is, what a new story is. I talk about the objections people have. You know, it's impossible. I can't do it. We've never done this before. I'm a man. I'm a woman. I'm Spanish. I'm English. You know, whatever your, your reason is, it's all true and it makes no difference. Past that, there are what I call the gateways. And you heard different gateways, meaning different entrances into heaven on earth from people. So when you ask these three questions over and over and over and over and over and over again, you begin to see patterns in the answers. So I want to just go a little quickly over that in the time we have remaining. So this is in no order. But one of the gateways is what I called your inner world. So I would say Sunil is there, Sarah a little bit, Patricia for sure, which is <clears throat> the premise being the more heaven on earth within me, the more it will show up in the world. And people do things like affirmations, meditation, uh, art, poetry. They go to therapy. They go to workshops to get rid of the non-heaven on earth, the hell on earth. So that's one uh, chapter in the book, that, that notion of the inner gateway. Then there is the gateway of, and some of you, uh, Sarah spoke about this, the gateway of being with someone else. That the gateway is relationship. 
with myself, with another, with others, excuse me, with the divine. Or living a global value. I have a friend of mine, Tim. His value is order. He loves to walk into a business or a, a home or a place that's a mess, and he knows that when he leaves, it'll be cleaned up. My wife's value is joy. That's what it is for her, period. So your inner world, relationships, living your global value. And then there are people as well who say, and, and you, know, you can be focused on one of these or more. None's more important than the other. Your outer world. So there are people who, uh, for whom heaven on earth is ending a major suffering. Hunger, war, poverty, abuse of women, lack of education, the migrant issue. But there's usually one problem, one suffering that really deeply hurts them. It's what I call the keystone. You know, in a stone arch, there's that last stone is called the keystone. If you take that stone out, everything collapses. And so for people for whom ending a suffering is a gateway, there is usually one very important gateway that, uh, excuse me, suffering that they uh, commit to, to ending. Not merely to get better. Getting better is fine. I'm, not, I'm totally in favor of that. But ending the suffering. Then we have people who say, well, what about the institutions of the world? Business, government, law, healthcare, religion, science, culture, the media. My job is to take on one of those institutions and make it an agent of heaven on earth. And then there are people who say, well, for me, it's about my nation. I remember the first, one of the first times I heard this was from a woman in Austria, Elizabeth, and we were doing a seminar like this on, uh, uh, just by voice. And when I asked her what her Heaven on Earth project is, she said, oh, Austria is a Heaven on Earth nation. And I went, whoa, why do you say that, Elizabeth? And she said, well, because it's simple. So that's why this word simple is so important. I don't know what your simple is, but my job is to help you find your simple so that you will do it. And then the last, and not last, but last in this list, and it could be anywhere. So Neil, I think this will be very pertinent to you. Heaven on earth, this here now. That the belief that this is not heaven on earth is what keeps us from experience experiencing its presence you know you Sunil, you listen it, it into existence you have a very powerful talent to do that very powerful and i i, I hope you use it it will i mean you know up to you clearly so those are the gateways your inner world relationships living your global values your outer world which is ending a suffering a major suffering institutions taking their rightful place and creating heaven on earth co-creating heaven on earth nations and heaven on earth this here now. So the book goes through those three questions and then it goes through a chapter on each of those gateways because each gateway is approached differently. And so part of why it took so long to write this is I had to go to people and find out who were making this gate, you know, a particular gateway, their gateway, how they came at it so I could explain it to other people in a simple way. Now, let me talk about some of the things that people are actually doing. By the way, we said we do this for an hour. I'm happy to go over, um, but I just will keep that one hour and we're, we can go over. So um, there's a woman in, in Hawaii who had this brilliant idea. She added her definition of heaven on earth to the end of every email she sends out. And she asks people what heaven on earth is for you. That's it. She did it simply. Boom, gone. A police officer in Texas wrote a 16-page manual called Heaven on Earth for Law Enforcement. A real estate agent here in Halifax, Canada, created a program called A Home for Everyone because she was so hurt by people not having a home to live in. It's called A Home for Everyone. She went back to her agency, sat them all down, 10 agents. They each agreed to contribute $100 from each of their sales to this pot. They've raised 400,000 Canadian dollars so far. And each year, each agent, 10 agents, picks one client 
and those 20 people decide on who gets the money that year, either individuals or organizations. Um, oh, there was a woman also in, in the next province over in Nova Scotia. Violence against women, really, really, really bothering. She was so mad on the phone call. Where, I've been to the police. I've been to the government. Nothing. What would you do? I'm like, oh my God. I don't know, Susan, uh, you could donate $5,000, you could donate a penny. Well, what difference would a penny make? And one of the other women on the call said, wait a minute. What if everybody in your county donated a penny a day to help end violence against women? And she went, oh my God. They created a little jar about this size with a picture of a woman's face, half of her face beaten up, bruised, half of her face bright, alive. And it was called Making Change. And they asked you to contribute a penny a day or more for a year. You couldn't put in $3.65 and say, that's my contribution. No, a penny, a penny, a penny, to put it in your consciousness. They raised $2,500 in her county and the one next door. They took that to the Canadian government, who gave them $100,000 for each of the subsequent three years. And now she reports that wherever she goes, people go, how can I help? About 15 years ago, <clears throat> I, Prince Edward Island, a little bit about Canada. There are 10 provinces in Canada and three territories. Uh, territories have less people, so they're not a province yet, way up north. Prince Edward Island is the smallest province, and more importantly, it's the birthplace of Canada. Canada was born here. So that is in the psyche of people here and in the country. I was doing a workshop like this, and this thought popped into my mind. Prince Edward Island is Canada's first heaven on earth province. What? No, 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 no. Again, Prince Edward Island is Canada's first heaven on earth province. No, 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 no. Again, okay, okay, okay. So I said it. I made a declaration. I said Prince Edward Island is Canada's first heaven on earth province. I had no idea what that meant, how to do it, and nothing. So let me tell you about some of the things that have occurred since. This is a package of, can you see that? Package of tea called Heaven on Earth Tea. Oh. A woman here who blends teas. So, well, I can't do anything. I said, well, what do you do? I blend tea. Create a Heaven on Earth Tea. She did. We have a coffee merchant, a cafe here, who's created a Heaven on Earth coffee. We have a jewelry store here. The woman has two jewelry stores. She's created a little card with the three Heaven on Earth questions on it. She gives it out to everybody who buys something from her store. Almost 10,000 cards have been put out already. We have a woman here who owns a little shop, a little a curio shop, like a little gift store. She's made, can you see that? Yeah. Heaven on her tea, uh, soap. And she made a little shell, which if you turn it around, says heaven on earth. Oh, how nice. Now, that's pretty amazing. And, oh, and the Kiwanis Club, which is like the Lions Club, or it's the Service Club, has created an award called the Kiwanis Heaven on Earth Leadership Award. It is open to any student in the province, in either public school or high school. They have to come up with an idea, and then they have to do the idea, and then they put their name and their project forward. And this is the third summer we did it. The first summer was brilliant. This little girl, she was in high school. Every Sunday she would go to an old age uh, home here and work with the elderly. And then after supper, they would all go to their rooms. They would be depressed and it really bothered her. She went back to school, got about 10 of her fellow students together. They went back and they started an art class every Sunday night. This year we have three. I can't tell you who yet because they haven't been announced, but we have three winners. Now, all of that's impressive, I think. I come here the beginning of the summer, and can you see this? Yes. Heaven to be. It's a musical that's on the island. Songs and Stories. Oops, Songs and Stories of Prince Edward Island. There was a song that was written in the 1950s called Prince Edward Island is heaven to me. I never knew about it. I have nothing to do with this. This is showing up now on its own, without me. And then about three or four weeks ago, on Saturday, which is the major newspaper day here, this was the title. 
It's about this basilica, which is 100 years old. But people were going nuts. Did you see the, did you see the paper barn? Did you see the paper? Did you see the paper? I had nothing to do with that. And it's showing up. So I, what's this other thing? Oh, yeah. And this is a band made by, this is a, a little armband made by a group in Kenya. So the Prince Edward Island one, this is my little laboratory here. Every year we do something that forwards this, forwards this. So it's in the psyche of the population. Last year, if you go to Google and you, yeah, you go to Google and put in the phrase in quotation, heaven on earth 2018, but uh, heaven on earth has to be in quotation. So that means it's the one phrase and 2018 is not in the quotes. You'll get a little over 8 million results. If you go and put heaven on earth in quotations 2019, you'll get about a little over 12 million results already. So we are up 55% over the entirety of last year. We're at 155% of the entirety of last year, and we're halfway through the year. So something major is going on here, folks, with heaven on earth. Let me start. And so your contribution, let me know what it is, because I want to talk about it. The more we talk about it, the more people know about it, boom. And then if you look at the title of the book, um, this will be perfect for you. Sunil, would you read the title of the book, please? Oop, you're on mute. Yeah. Project Heaven on Earth. And Sunil, there's another title in the title. Project Heaven on Earth. Okay. <laughs> The word project is a noun, we're doing yeah. heaven on earth, and it's also a verb, to project heaven on earth. Mm -hmm. So it's about being and doing. It's about both. And by the way, that, that uh, hold on, if you do this, whoop, I just did this and I didn't have a chance. Can you see this? If you go to tinyurl, dot com slash heaven spain that will take you to um amazon in spain you can buy this and i want so it's tinyurl.com slash heaven spain uh and if you can't find it that way well you should it's on amazon spain yeah, not in english, not in, it's in english not in spanish and i want to invite you two things i want to invite oh sorry we're at the one hour mark. Let me just. But for, I don't know for you guys. Uh, it's okay if we continue a little bit more until uh, Martin. 10 or 15 minutes. That, will that work? We'll, or put it the other way. Put it in the negative. I will that have, not work for anyone? I have five minutes more. <laughs> and then I have to go. I'm sorry. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I want to invite you, if you buy the book, buy three copies of the book one for you one for somebody in your life right now and you'll know who that person is and one for somebody coming into your life because what i'm asking you to do is be an agent of heaven on earth to spread this out into the world and uh i i have this other really neat idea that came to me a couple of months ago it's called the case for heaven on earth if you buy 20 books and send me that uh, receipt from Amazon, I'll do a free webinar like this for you. And that's just taken off recently. I did a webinar the other day. I had three, no, three or four? Three. Four, 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 four. Four people buy case. Um, what else? Let me just stop there. And questions or com Yeah, questions or comments. And it was, what do you need to say to, to be complete? Sarah, you need to go first, so uh, because you you have to leave. Anything you need to say or questions or anything? And thank you for playing for me. Thank you for being willing to step up. Sarah, you're on mute. No, yeah. There you go. <laughs> uh, no, it's very nice. I guess I need to read the book. <laughs> no, thank you very much. That's that's nice. <laughs> that's thank you, really Sarah. Sarah, I think you have a, a large contribution to make and you need to start. Yeah. Now. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Sarah.
Thank you to you. Really. Thank you. <laughs> Sarah, if, um, I may, if I may quickly uh, jump in. Yeah. Uh, looking at now with, with, um, with our now session and everything, you have a big contribution to give because your personality it's uh, really very, very nice. And um, <laughs> you project, yes, a lot of um, happiness and um, you're very light. And I love that. And a huge desire to contribute. Yes. Yes. Which is being thwarted by where you are. So we need to get you moving. You're, no, you're on. You're on mute. So. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. This is very, very nice. Be I'm <laughs> emotional. <Thanks. laughs> okay. Thank you. Which is Thank best. you. Bye. 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 Uh, Sunil, Patricia. Sunil. Yeah. Um, I'm really grateful for like what happened here. I don't know. Kind of found myself connecting to. Um, a space I've been kind of looking for and actually funnily enough like walk I was out for a walk and I was walking back and I, th I think I touched it a little bit it was just like this being space and I'm just really grateful that you kind of reminded me of that and the fact that it's like it's so close it's here um, it's, well, it, it's not so it is so close but it's here is more i think yeah. stronger language yeah. for you yeah yeah and it's like it's here and i'm kind of looking for it and that takes me away from seeing that it's here Sun sunil you found it now get on with it. <laughs> Sorry. It's as simple as that. You have a huge contribution, contribution as well, Sunil. I was very serious when I said you listened heaven on earth into existence. That's enormous. Enormous. You're doing it again. You know the greeting, namaste. Yeah. Thanks, Anil. Patricia, you're on mute. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Um, Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm just truly grateful to be here uh, tonight and have shared this space with all of you. Um, what we are doing is so different to what the percentage of the human race considers to be the norm. And one by one, we will make it the norm. Make is maybe the wrong word. Allow we are, we are, we are making it. I'll, we're, I'll being, have, we're being, we're being like, Yeah. I like to think allowing it to be more so than making. Um. It's well. Let me a little clarification for me. It's both, and in your case, it's more the being than the doing. But I, I would also say you need to honor those for whom it is through their doing. 
Thank you. Thank you, Patricia, very much. Miss Jeanette. Yes, I'm uh, now in heaven on earth. <laughs> I cannot really. I, my heart is pumping and vibrating so so strongly. I'm feeling Sunil, feeling you, feeling Patricia, feeling Sarah. The heart. It makes me. I I just I, I'm uh, vibrating and I'm uh, <laughs> flying. This is heaven on earth for me. Thank you so much. I really, really from the heart. Thank you so much. Thank you, Janet. To be to really to be continued. Yes. Yeah. There thank you. All of you, thank you so much for this. Uh, I, I feel you know you've. Where was Sarah in Spain as well? Yes. Yeah. So all of you, you know, are. It, it says to me that Spain is is not kind of Spain is waking up too, that all of you are in Spain. So, I declare Spain a heaven on earth country. Yes, so it is. So it is. Yes. Yep. So thank you so much. Thank you. A pleasure to be continued. Thanks. Yes. Thank you, everybody. So, bye bye. Love you all. Thank Love you. you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very <laughs> much. Bye bye. Bye.